Alright guys, it's Westy here, back again today bringing you some more Battlefield 3 Aftermath content, but today I'm going to be bringing you something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a vantage point over at High Rise, which is one of the uh, conquest um, flags on Epicenter, and uh, it gives you kind of uh, an increased view of some of the other flags and also a way to uh, sort of protect the High Rise flag. Now just before I talk about everything else, I'm not sure if you're actually allowed to go through here, but since it's I managed to get there during a game, one of my teammates sort of ran around there and did it, then I guess that you're allowed to do it because it is actually in the game area, so I can't see why this would be a problem. It probably will get patched at some point, but for now you may as well use it. It, it gives you an advantage of overlooking at E and it helps you uh, sort of protect the high rise uh, flag as I've already said. So first of all, taking a look at it, it um, once you're up there, there are two sort of ways that you can go. Uh, there's the big concrete blocks in the middle, which you have to sort of walk around only one way because there's an invisible wall that you can't actually move past. But it does give you a huge vantage point for looking over at the flag E. And uh, this will be a great spot for snipers because you can sit behind the concrete block there, snipe over to E if it's being taken, and then you can take the enemies out and keep the flag for yourself. Also, this little passageway is great for protecting high-rise flag. Uh, you can't actually cap the flag from behind the concrete blocks there, but you can shoot enemies from behind it, which is uh, a really great help, which means you can keep yourself hidden, but you can also uh, sort of protect the flag at the same time. Okay, so that's about it for the little glitch that I found. Um, I would say use it with caution. Uh, I'm not sure how admins would react to you using this part of the map, but as I've said, it is actually in the game area on the mini map in the bottom corner there. You can quite clearly see there is no sort of orange area where you're not allowed to be. So um, I'm just going to carry on using it for my own benefit for now until it gets patched, which it probably will. Um, I'm guessing that this isn't part of the map they wanted you to use. It's obviously the concrete massive huge blocks are there for a reason so that you can't even easily get to the flag from that side. But um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to carry on using it for my own benefit for now. Um, it's a really good way to protect one flag and sort of uh, keep an eye on the other flag if it's going to be taken by the enemy team. Alright guys, that about wraps up this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then leave it a like. Uh, and if you've got anything to say about the video, drop a comment down below. I've been Westy. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.